What's going on YouTube? Welcome back for another video. My name is David or David made this with Above Class Audio Man. And today we're cooking up some more beats. Um, appreciate y'all for uh, tuning in. Um, if you haven't already, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Uh, before we get started, I'm going to go ahead and um, start with a bit of self promo, man. If you need loops, uh, merch, go ahead and check out the website. If you're trying to learn how to make more beats, go ahead and check out the YouTube, man. We're going in. Um, we're in the studio. We're working for real, so... Without further ado, man, we're gonna get started. So, um, somebody had uh, left a comment on my last video where they wanted to see me cook up from uh, scratch. So, that process is a bit different for me, um, especially when we're going for more like crazy type of stuff. But, uh, man, we're gonna get into it. Um, without further ado, let's, let's go. Let's get right into it. Um, go ahead and start off with some uh, ANA keys. Pads actually get some ambient ambient pads in here. So I will say with um I'm gonna try to cook up some more like uh low baby I guess style loops. Um I'm gonna put the drums on it too, but I'm gonna start off uh focusing on the loop first and um we'll put the drums on after. Um my main thing with uh melodies is uh effects like We'll get into it later, but uh, effects are, they're very important when it comes to melody, so let's just, let's get right into them. I do not like this sound, though. Let's get a, let's get another one. Put the uh, BPM up to probably one... 69 that's cool it's a cool little tempo So one thing with uh, these type of beats is you, I mean, um, it really depends on uh, what you're feeling like, but uh, I'm going to go down for the 808. I'm going to make it um, go one note, and then when it hits the uh, four bar, I'm going to make it go down. Um, just personal preference, I guess. keys in here keep it ambient I like I really like the ambient sound so just uh, following the root notes of uh, notes of the chord that we already uh, the chord notes that we already have um, I don't really know chords like that uh, yet. I'm still kind of learning them. So, I mean, I'm just going off by ear right now. Um, that's kind of just how you got to play it for the first when you're starting to make beats. So, so far we got a bunch of stuff in like the high, um, the higher frequencies. So I'm going to go ahead and start filling out the mid frequencies and then the low. Uh, I think strings might sound good on this. Copy these uh, chords over. Uh, 
for that arp what we uh what we already laid down i'm probably gonna go ahead and put some effects on that right now um murder melodies go ahead and pattern shift it and then halfway reverse it and then i'm gonna go ahead and put that through halftime <laughs> Some more prominent sounds in here so i'm just gonna go ahead and uh, take this off the of ambient just go all some keys find some stuff <laughs> that pattern over and then um what I might do is take it over by half a step and then pitch it down and then add some effects on it double it actually This melody's filling out nice. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is uh, add a little bass in, and then add some sauce on after that, man. Just no. Uh, you think you think it's sounding good right now? Just wait. Just wait, man. So what we're gonna do is follow the uh, bass notes. Go ahead and um, take this to the uh, the arrangement page. Start laying it out a little bit. Um, this needs to be more filled out, so I'm gonna go ahead and pitch this down. that's cool now um, go ahead and add a little just gonna go ahead and start with some uh, effects that we're gonna add on so got a add this sound in here <laughs> Um, so we're probably not going to use the bass for besides this part, um, besides when we're doing the 808, we're just going to copy this pattern, but, um, what I'm going to do now, since we already got all of them routed to the mixer track, I'm going to take, one, two, three, let's see, everyone besides this one, alright, and the bass, so one and six. 
take all of these and go to this uh, arrow right here and then I'm going to uh, click route to this track only so seven um, hopefully my computer doesn't start bugging out right now when I click this but uh, this is where we're going to add some effects on it um, input source is going to put pads and then let's listen for some uh, fried shit man that gonna go over to our friendly uh splice i know you can't see it um it should only be fl showing but what i'm gonna do is we're in d we're in the key of d i don't know if it's major or minor because i don't know chords like that but um we go to splice and look up vocal sample D in the key and then we're gonna find something that fits it that would sound fire on so I'm gonna select that part and go ahead and use this one um, man if you're listening I am sorry about this uh, them clicks man it's the underruns um, that's what happens when you got so many uh, uh, VSCs open at once. If your computer can't handle it, um, it's 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 rough out here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it's uh, 90 BPM for the uh, sample. So I'm gonna go ahead and one two times 90 is 180. So then um, uh, fuck. Um, it gets it out to the uh, bar, and then you go over here and you click mode and then stretch. So you can um, go back to the uh, BPM that we had of that. So we had that routed to insert. Let's go ahead and put it to eight. And then what we can do is um, route insert eight to this track only so we're routing it to the uh through the guitar rig to add the effect on the um vocal sample too uh one more thing i'm going to do is add a guitar uh lead guitar um, so I'm going to go back to Splice to do that, go to the key, and I'm going to listen for something real quick. That's fried. I didn't even listen to the whole thing, but I mean, I think we got some fire in here. Um, take this down to 122. Yeah, something like that. Um, Stretch it so we can take it back up to the tempo that we had of that, which was 169. So for the guitar, um, some, when you're taking off splice, it doesn't match. I mean, I don't know if it's actually D minor for the key of the melody, so sometimes it won't be right. Uh, but it sounds cool the way uh, the way it is. I just had to chop that end off because it wasn't um, it was hitting the wrong note. So I'll just copy this part over. I like this uh, sound right here um, for the guitar. And the last thing we're going to add on this is probably just a, um, 
not swell. What would I call that? Um, like a hit, damn near. Or like, um, fuck. Some shit like that for real, which is exactly what the hell we're going to use, so. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and drag some of the effects over for when the, uh, the switch is right here. So I know for the, the last two things I just added, I don't have them rooted through the uh, guitar rig. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. Starting from channel 8, channel root, select from this track, and then select these two. Uh, root to this track only. Um, so now we're done with the loop. Uh, this is what I mean by like, um, doing loops and drums separate. Um, in my other videos I talked about a little bit. I really don't like cooking up loops and drums in the same session just because of how much stuff uh how much room this is already taking up and uh the in for my ram and how much it's slowing down my computer so i'm gonna go ahead and do is i'm just gonna save this and bounce it real quick man um i did not mix the melody at all so that's what we gotta go back and do my fault um yeah definitely gotta do that shit I guess I did kind of do it, but uh, just to get this uh, competing sound frequencies to sound good with each other, I'm just going to... It's a little better. Um, go ahead and just rewrite over this. mp3 so we still got to cut off a little bit of the uh, start um probably just pitch it down by two now go ahead and get the 808 first Cut itself on the 808 always. Got the uh, 808 uh, key down, so all these notes are hidden in the right note. What we're going to just do now is uh, make it a little bit crazier. So now we got the 808 down. Um, go ahead and put the pattern on for the uh, where the drums are actually going to be hitting. We just uh, for that part we just use uh, where the bass was at in the uh, melody to find the um, the 808 keys. So now it should sound not compete. It should sound like it's not competing with the uh, bass now when we play it. A simple two step hi hat, a clap, and a little snare right here. Also, need to add an open hat in here.
Now we're gonna do a little some uh, mess with the hi hat a little bit, make it go a little bit crazier. So I'm a little bit laying out of the melody just to make it uh, a little more bouncy, I guess. Um, I'm also going to do is lay out the patterns real quick. Not very many sounds. We don't need to go too crazy. I mean, that's how a lot of this shit is nowadays. Just keep it simple. Let's copy over the open hat because it's only hitting for the first uh, four bars. So then take out the open hat on the first uh, verse and the second verse. And copy this pattern over. And let's hear our sounds. on here make it make it hit a little harder just heard there is we got to uh, envelope the 808 so it doesn't compete when um, the uh, bass note from the um, bass comes in for there because I mean if you don't do it if you don't envelope the 808 it'll lead out into this and it'll get muddy so I mean now it should be fine <laughs> when you do that though every time the MIDI note stops the 808 uh, the sound should stop, so you got to make sure uh, you uh, control L to connect them. I really don't like how the uh, 808's on the C now. It's a little too low for me, so I just pitch it up. To be honest, um, I hear an, a lead melody on top of this, like a little arp or something. I might as well just use A and A for the whole uh, analog labs for the whole thing, because I mean we're already halfway there. Go ahead and get a bell. I don't like that. fire um what i'm gonna go ahead and do is put an eq on this um to eq out the low end for the uh 808 when it's hitting so create an automation clip right click this and then create automation clip and then do like so um this is just so there's already no um base in where we laid out the loop right here but just to give it that extra the 808 the extra like room to actually hit um take out the uh just eq out the uh bass notes for this and
some reason this note right here is muddy as hell so let's just <laughs> Right click the master fader, uh, create all my automation clip fuck. Um, and then type in value 0.8. That little fade out ending. I mean, if you wanted to take it the easy route, if you have uh, the new FL Studio, you can just take this clip right here and then just do this. So I mean, I'm just fucking doing the exact same thing right here for here and here. Um, I think the beat is damn near done. I think it is done actually. Um, Mix it down a little bit. Um, let's go ahead and EQ a little bit. Just to uh, let uh, leave room for the vocal to sit when an artist hops on it. So the last thing we're going to go ahead and do is, for some reason, um, there's a little space right there when I copied over the melody. It's just, all right, it's fine now. Um, but we're going to select all these, and then since we do have the new version of FL Studio, where it's going to fade the clips uh, so they don't click when they, um, when they change. So we're good, man. Um, I'm going to go ahead and play the beat out as an outro, man. If you made it this far, if you're still watching, I appreciate y'all. Um, don't forget to check out the website for the loops. Uh, like, comment, subscribe for more videos, man. Um, I appreciate all the support I've gotten so far. I really love y'all. So, yeah, man. Hope you learned something. And uh, y'all have a good one. Peace out, y'all.